welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 4.53 and the statement of this question is referring to exercise 4.35 on page 127 find the mean and variance of the discrete random variable z equal to 3x minus 2 okay so let me underline it z is 3x minus 2 when x represents the number of errors per 100 lines of code okay so this is the statement and the original question 4.35 is here the statement of it was the random variable x representing the number of errors per 100 lines of software code has the following probability distribution which is given here so by using theorem 4.2 on page 1 to 1 we had to find the variance of x okay so to find the variance and mean of all that first we have to go through our question which is here here we have to find what we have basically to find the mean and variance of it okay so first we have to find the mean of z which is here so z is what what do we have to find actually this is e of 3x minus 2 okay so ultimately it would be what it would be e of 3x minus e of 2 because of the linear property of this averaging okay or separating it out this 3 will be outside of it here it would be x and the mean of this 2 is also 2 okay so this is what we have here okay so here in order to find the values here the e of z would be what it would be here 3 e of x minus 2 while the variance of z would be what we can see here that the mean here is multiplied by 3 and it is only affected by the multiplication term which is the square root of this so therefore it would be this multiplicative term square multiplied by the variance of the original random variable okay so these are basically the two formulas which we have to use okay let me call it a and this is the second one okay let me call it b what is missing here we can very clearly see that the missing terms here are e of x and sigma square of x which are here okay which must be known from this table okay so let me find out these values in order to find the value of e of x what do we have to do we have to multiply each terms here with the corresponding density function okay so it would be what it would be the summation of x of i with the corresponding f of x i okay let me multiply these terms here so multiplying them here it would be these two will be multiplied these two these two these two and these two okay so let me multiply them it would be 2 multiplied by 0 0.01 plus 3 multiplied by 0 0.25 because this is this one here is x1 and this is f of x1 similarly this is x2 and this is f of x2 and so on okay so let me continue it let me remove them first so it would be 4 multiplied by 0 0.4 plus 5 multiplied by 0 0.3 plus 6 multiplied by 0 0.04 okay so multiplying them all together what will we get the answer of it or the mean of it would be 4.11 so this is what the expected value of x okay so this is what this is 4.11 now in order to find the value of the variance of the x or sigma square of x it would be what it would be the e of x square minus e of x whole square 
we know the value of e of x which is known here we don't know the value of e of x square in order to find out the value of e of x square what do we have to do we will have to use the same formulation and it would be summation of all and squaring the x term multiplying it with the x of i so i will get here 2 square multiplied by 0 0.01 plus 3 square multiplied by 0 0.25 plus 4 square multiplied by 0 0.4 plus 5 square multiplied by 0 0.3 plus 6 square multiplied by 0 0.04 okay so let me find out its value when you will find out the value of it and when you will put it here so the value of it would be here the value of e of x is 4.11 whole square so after putting these values here the answer of it would be what it would be 0 0.74 okay so this is for the variance of it now in order to take these values and putting them here in equation a and b let me move down somehow so putting them here let me put them here and the expected value of z would be what it would be 3 multiplied by e of x so e of x is 4.11 and minus 2 okay multiplying them and then finding the answer of it it would be 10.33 this is what this is the answer for expected value of c now in order to find the variance of the z i have told you that it would be 3 square multiplied by the sigma square x okay so 3 square is 9 multiplied by the sigma square of x which is here or here so it is 0 0.74 okay so finding it out and then its value would be 6.66 and that is what that is the solution for question 4.53 and you have seen that how can we find out the scale versions of the random variable its mean its variance and all the other statistical quantities from it okay so that's it for today if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon